Hey, how's it going? This is Chad Haig reporting from Southern India. I'd like to continue the series of videos on how to read Egyptian hieroglyphs. In response to patrons' recent request to resume that series, which you may recall um, was started on this channel last September, in this second video, we will now move on to what I think is the next logical step in the process. So you may recall that in that first video in the series, we learned how to read Egyptian hieroglyphs in the very literal sense of understanding how a hieroglyphic script differs as a writing system in very fundamental ways from the sort of alphabetic script with which we are more familiar in using a language like, say, modern American English. But we realize after going through that, that even if we know how to read a hieroglyphic script in the sense of knowing what sounds it represents, um, that won't actually be so meaningful to us, it won't be so useful to us, if we don't know the language in which this is written, which really means we have to learn now the ancient Egyptian language. For reading hieroglyphs is always kind of a euphemism for reading the ancient Egyptian language isn't it? Now, how do you learn a language, especially an ancient one? Well, you could learn a lot of grammatical rules, and inevitably you will have to, and we will cover those kind of on a weekly basis, um, one topic at a time, moving forward, in much the same way that we've been covering Greek topics on a weekly basis on this channel, but even that won't really be meaningful to us if we don't know some of the vocabulary words which are being used. So, from my own experience, having studied about 15 languages to varying degrees within my life, I found that learning about 170 words is a really good way to start. This is especially true for ancient languages like Egyptian, for the kind of words you learn in a modern language in, say, conversational class um, dealing with teaching you how to be a tourist in another country um, is going to be very different from the kind of vocabulary you need to read ancient texts, whereas a modern language would have a lot of emphasis on asking for directions or, you know, ordering a meal at a restaurant or checking into your hotel and things like that. Um, in ancient languages, because the texts were um, largely restricted to the activities of a scribal class who was producing work um, at the request of, say, kings for um, the purposes of documenting things about their reign or for religious purposes, the vocabulary is going to be very different. But in a lot of ways, um, it's actually easier to get a start with this because you can just focus on those sort of words which, which deal with those documents. Um, without any need to immediately concern yourself about all the sort of things you need to be a conversationalist in a foreign country. So if we um, try to learn now 184 words, which I consider to be uh, very frequently used within the sort of hieroglyphs um, that you might actually read from the ancient world, I think that this is going to be a great way to start. Now, the ancient Egyptian language is, of course, also something we have the benefit of being able to compare to other languages in a way that we don't have for certain other ancient languages. And Sumerian, for example, it's likely that it was part of a language family with other members. It's just that it's extremely unlikely that we'll ever find what those other members were, because Sumerian is um, something which we can compare to Basque in the sense that Sumerian shows us the last remnant of the sort of languages which were spoken in the Middle East many thousands of years ago before they were displaced, if you will, by the Semitic languages which had actually originated in Africa. So in much the same way that the European languages um, came to be displaced by Proto-Indo-European ones like Greek and German and Latin, etc. Um, Basque kind of shows us what sort of languages might have been spoken there thousands of years before that. And so too with Sumerian, we get the last sort of glimpse of a very obscure sort of um, way of doing things, which really cannot be compared to anything else. Egyptian is in a different camp in the sense that it is a member of the pro excuse me the Afroasiatic language family which does include say the Semitic languages like Hebrew, Arabic and Aramaic and Akkadian, it's just that it's a different branch within the same language. So we'll see over the course of this video as we um, actually provide the equivalent words in Babylonian Akkadian, Hebrew, Arabic and actually from Proto-Afroasiatic as um, hypothetically reconstructed by some recent scholars, we'll see that oftentimes the Egyptian word is rather different from the Semitic words 
um, and sometimes closer to the proposed proto-aphorasiatic word, but there's still some sort of connection you can see if you see all of those together. Before we start going through the um, 184 words as such, if you'd like a very quick review over which sounds are associated with the hieroglyphic symbols, um, if you want a review of the alphabet of Egyptian, if you will, um, we'll pre pre present those on the next few slides. You can pause the tape and copy these down by hand um, for future use, but right now we'll just go very quickly uh, reviewing the one consonant signs, which we covered in that first video presented now, and then we also have the two consonant signs which we will cover in greater depth in an upcoming video. And now we have the three consonant signs. We also have a quick review of the determinatives. Remember that many hieroglyphic symbols are not meant to be pronounced out loud. Rather, they tell you the class of words that um, a given word belongs to in terms of meaning. For example, after the name of a specific kind of tree, you will often see the symbol of a tree, not because that's anything meant to be pronounced out loud. It's not like an alphabetic letter in that sense. Rather, it simply tells you what class of words the preceding belongs to, once again, in terms of meaning. So too, with that pair of walking legs, if it's a word dealing with motion, like say, going, you'll have that pair of legs as a clue about the meaning of the word in terms of which class of words it belongs to. But these determinatives are, once again, not meant to be pronounced out loud. All right, so without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin our ancient Egyptian language vocabulary boot camp. Once again, each of these slides will present the Egyptian word written in hieroglyphic form, along with a transliteration to tell you how it is to be pronounced, along with the English translation of the term, followed by corresponding terms in the Babylonian Akkadian, Hebrew, Arabic, and Proto-Afroasiatic languages. Our first word is reth, a mankind. Reth, a mankind. Se, man. Se, man. Set, woman. Set, woman. Nechen, babe. Nechen, babe. Menat, nurse. Menat, nurse. Hemet, wife. Hemet, wife. Menfat, soldier. Menfat, soldier. Suten, king. Suten, king. Tut. Statue, tut, statue. Pet, heaven, pet, heaven. Ra, sun, ra, sun. Ah, uh, uh, moon, ah, uh, uh, moon. Spa, star. Spa, star. Huru, day. Huru, day. Kerhu, night. Kerhu, night. Unut, hour. Unut, hour. Ren pit year. Ren pit year. Tra season. Tra season. Ta earth. Ta earth. Ma water. Ma water. Sechet field. Sechet field. Shin tree. Shin tree. Heler flower. Heler flower. Uwa 
boat. Wa a boat. Urelit chariot. Urelit chariot. Shemert bow. Shemert bow. Sti arrow. Sti arrow. Bent harp. Bent. Harp. Ma height balance. Ma height balance. Ta head. Ta head. Heft face. Heft face. Shenu hair. Shenu. Hair. Mester. Ear. Mester. Ear. Fent. Nose. Fent. Nose. Kabu. Arm. Kabu. Arm. Ermen. Arm. Elmen arm hot belly hot belly Red foot Red foot on them skin or color on them skin or color Teher hide. Teher hide. Tenh wing. Tenh wing. Art limb. Art limb. A oof flesh. A oof flesh. Sniff blood. Sniff blood. Ta bread. Ta bread. Acht milk. Acht milk. Acht wine. Acht wine. Hecht. Hecht beer. Hecht beer. Hips clothes. Hips clothes. Pear house. Pear house. Actually, the word we get pharaoh from, you may not know. Great house. Arnab wall. Arnab wall. Tema, town or village. Tema, town or village. Uat, way. Uat, way. Martenu, road. Martenu, road. Arner stone. Arner stone. Noop gold. Noop gold. Hot silver. Hot silver. Hint copper. Hint copper. Hit fire. Hit fire. Sati flame. Sati flame. Neb 
Lord or Master. Nib, Lord or Master. Buck, Servant. Buck, Servant. Herui, Enemy. Herui, Enemy. Nefer, Good. Nefer. Good. If you've ever wondered who Nefertiti is, perhaps this is it. Ban. Bad. Ban. Bad. Ah. ah great. Ah, ah. Once again, Pharaoh, great house. Per. Ah. ah. Ura. Another word for great. Ura. Another word for great. Kit, small. Kit, small. Nets, inferior. Nets, inferior. Nechit, victory or victorious. Nechit, victory or victorious. Usair, rich or powerful. Usair. Rich or powerful? Pechti, strength or strong? Pechti, strength or strong? Men, pain or painful? Men, pain or painful? Mer, sick or suffering? Mer, sick was suffering. Absh, white. Absh, white. Come, black. Come, black. Teshir, red. Teshir, red. Kenu, many. Kenu, many. Neb, all. Neb, all. Nehau, few. Nehau, few. Un, b. Un, b. Repair, become. Repair, become. Anche, live. Anche, live. Mut, death or die. Mut, death or die. Sna, breathe. Sna. Breathe. Ma see. Ma see. Setem here. Setem here. Tit speak. Tit speak. Cre, be silent. Cre, be silent. Ash, call. Ash, call. Sema, till. Sema, till. Tib hu, pray. Tib hu. Pray. Arm, eat. Arm, eat. Sura, drink. Sura, drink. Tepa, taste. Tepa, taste. Hekra, 
hunger. Hekr, hunger. Up, thirst. Up, thirst. Uwa, uwa, think. Uwa, uwa, think. Ne ham, rejoice. Ne ham, rejoice. Rem, weep. Rem, weep. Cut, sleep. Cut, sleep. Nehes, awake. Nehes, awake. Aha, stand. Aha, stand. Him say, sit. Him say, sit. Kes, bend. Kes, bend. Stare, lie. Stare, lie. E, go. E. Go. Hob. Send. Hob. Send. Spare. Approach. Spare. Approach. On. Turn. On. Turn. Sech, sech, flee. Sech, sech, flee. Hira, fight. Hira, fight. Sehech, overthrow. Sehech, overthrow. Seher, drive off. Seher. Drive off. Chesef. Repel. Chesef. Repel. Hatbu. Kill. Hatbu. Kill. Chet. Cut. Chet. Cut. Hu. Beat. Who? Beat. Hob. Plow. Hob. Plow. Ask. Mo. Ask. Mo. Ta. Give. Ta. Give. Ship, receive. Ship, receive. Mare, love. Mare, love. Mist, hate. Mist, hate. Car, bull. Car, bull. Kekwi darkness. Kekwi darkness. Hot light. Hot light. Up heart. Up heart. Ba soul. Ba soul. Ka. Double or genius. Ka. Double or genius. Who. Intelligence. Who. Intelligence. Sechem. Form or image. Sechem. Form or image. Ma'at. I. 
ma'at, I hear voice, hear voice, chabez, star or luminary, chabez, star or luminary, tu, mountain, tu, mountain, Ima si Ima si Ash cedar Ash cedar Peru or Nepra grain Peru or Nepra grain Neter God Neter God Unscribe Likewise on Neter Het Scribe of the Temple On Neter Shat Scribe of Holy Books Het Things Furniture or Wealth Het Temple Hit Temple Hit a at Palace or Great House Hit a at Palace or Great House Spa Door or Doorway Spa Door or Doorway Nut City Nut City Shot Book Shot Book Tama Roll of Papyrus Tama Roll of Papyrus Un Not Un Not Ben Not Ben not me tu word or thing me tu word or thing ma a right and true ma a right and true a ha duration a ha duration u she observation u she observation Hege, time everlasting. Hege, time everlasting. Teta, time everlasting. Teta, time everlasting. Hatui, rain. Hatui, rain. Boo, place. Boo, place. Ness tongue Ness tongue Sucht egg Sucht egg Up tea east Up tea east Amenti west Amenti west Ka, height. Ka, height. Tet, depth. Tet, depth. Interestingly, in Hebrew, tehom is the ocean in the sense of really deep water. The great depths, I suppose. Ia, wash. Ia, wash. Achen, close the eye. Achen, close the eye. Pset, shine. Pset, shine. Uben, 
shine forth or rise. Uben, shine forth or rise. A a a ni, ape. A a a ni, ape. A wa, ox. A wa, ox. Be his heifer. Be his heifer. Mas calf. Mas calf. Ba ram. Ba ram. Art. Goat. Art. Goat. Ka his oryx. Ka his oryx. Hetra horse. Hetra horse. Mau cat. Mau cat. Tesen hound. Tesen hound. Upt duck. Upt duck. Bauk hawk. Bauk hawk. Nera u vulture. Nera u vulture. Sesh bird's nest. Sesh bird's nest. Rem fish. Rem fish. Tebat fish. Tebat fish. Emsuha crocodile. Emsuha crocodile. If you wonder what behemoth is in Hebrew, behemoth, actually one proposed translation of crocodile. Hifi, snake. Hifi, snake. Te'at, scorpion. Te'at, scorpion. Okay, now it's the student's turn to study these words. We can revisit this um, to compare it more explicitly to the other languages, but for now, let's just focus on familiarizing ourselves with these words. If you want to watch this video multiple times, um, just immerse yourself in these words. It'll become second nature. It'll become a lot easier then to read these texts and learn the grammar. Thank you for watching. I look forward to more videos on ancient Egyptian.